Hello and welcome. This is the Red Right Hand, and uh, we're gonna do another Sony Vegas tutorial today. I, if I can, I'll probably try and um, make this all into one tutorial at some point, or however I can do this, or put an annotation in the first video. Because um, even though I, you know, showed you guys great settings and stuff to use, in, in games that have so many moving parts like Rome, you'll see that, like, the edges of my guys, like, fuzz, and it just doesn't look like 1080p like it should. It doesn't look like the game. It doesn't look like the preview in Sony Vegas says it will. So I'm actually going to teach you guys how to fix that today. I spent quite a bit of time uh, looking around this morning. And, um, well, I found a couple things from, you know... But none of, not really any about, like, gaming ones, like, specifically for gaming. I saw one on skating, which was really good. Um, I can't remember it, but you're pretty much doing the same thing he is. But this should make your um, clips just look immaculate. So we're going to take one, like, I don't know. We'll do the dog one, I think. This should be the dog one, because there's a lot of moving things in it. Um, we'll stick it in there. No, we're not going to match. Okay, it's not the dog one. I, I guess I I also forgot to tell you guys this. Um, my Rome series, I'm going to have to restart because it, my, I don't know why, my game decided to just start crashing and fucking itself up. So, I lost my game save files and everything and I don't even know if I can reinstall the game and get it to work. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be working on that, but. If you watch, um, here, we'll just see it right now, I guess. See, you can already see, like, the blur and the weird shadow things. These can, this can be, like, a couple things. You can see how it just kind of, like, blurs everything out. That's the problem with, like, um, strategy games. There's so many, like, fine detail textures. And, like, some Call of Duty stuff might notice this, but... I mean, just to get the best quality videos you can, guys, I would do this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to options here. And, um, you're going to find, uh, video options. Easiest way, honestly, just to go here. But, either way, you get to video options. Oh, it's properties up there, derp. And, um, first off, I already had this in my last video, but you have it on a non progressive scan. Make sure that's off. That um, has something to do with interlacing of frames, and uh, that'll fix that. And um, your deinterlace method down here, due to interpolate fields, uh, due to go to interpolate fields, and uh, hit apply. Then hit OK. Then there's one more thing you can do. As you can see, uh, it's still fuzzy a bit. I mean, it's a hell of a lot clearer, but it's still a bit fuzzy. So, what you're going to do is you're going to right click your actual movie clip, go to switches, and, um, well, let's see here. Why, why is it grayed out here? Alright, there we go. I don't know why it does that sometimes. But if you just click somewhere else on the movie timeline, it'll pop up. And you do disable resample. And um, then, this was actually in the last video, but um, it's more important on like strategy games with lots of moving units, obviously. Um, get your sharpen tool, just drag it down here, and uh, I'm actually going to go a bit higher. I'm going to go like a, like a, where is it? doesn't really ever start to fuzz out like that. See, if you have it too high, it'll start fuzzing out. I'm trying to find a good, happy, like, medium... We'll just do like that. That's that. That's good. Hopefully, so that's pretty much double my last sharpen settings. Um, just play around with it till you find the sharpen setting that you like, and um, we'll just advance it like I don't know a couple frames. There we go. And then we're gonna do best full. Look at it, and see the shadows are gone. So uh, and you can actually see their faces and everything like you should be able to. Um, so I hope that helped, and I mean, there's a huge difference, especially on YouTube, because YouTube does not, I mean, as much as YouTube says it uploads in 1080p and 60 pixels, it does, I mean, 60 frames per second, it does not look like my game, which is in a 1080p resolution, 
with over 60 frames per second. It just flat out doesn't. I'm sorry, but YouTube, it doesn't. And it doesn't look as good as your best draft here once you've done everything that you need to. It just won't. So, um, pretty much, I don't know why it does that on YouTube, but they've done a great job, and, I mean, props to YouTube. It's just gotten so much better since uh, I actually got inspired to make some gaming videos and such, so I'd like to give them a thanks and uh, look forward to some of the Rome videos I still had saved on my hard drive from multiplayer because um, that's all I got left. So um, I'm going to start recording some Breaking Point, maybe some Epoch, maybe some Battle Royale if I get around to it. But I play a lot of Rome 2 right now with my friends. It's kind of the game that we're, I guess you could say, addicted to right now. So um, you'll be seeing quite a bit of that multiplayer if I can get the game to work again. But uh, thanks, guys. And... Um, if you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. If you dislike the video, well then I guess drop drop a dislike. I mean, pretty simple options there. If you don't have an opinion, don't like it or don't dislike it. It all helps. Views, subs, likes, all of it is nice. Thanks, guys. And um, as always with my tutorial videos, if you can keep the comments somewhat clean and helpful, that would be nice. On all my other videos, I don't care. <laughs> have your flame wars. Do whatever you need to do. But um out of courtesy for those who are trying to learn who no matter what level of skill they're at I would like them to be able to learn something from these tutorial videos so let's try and make that happen thanks guys and have a wonderful day